know that as, you should write you should write questions for like uh, interview shows or the CNN or something. This is pretty heavy. I know that as a director, you must capture the uh, darkness and uniqueness of the shadow hunting world. How did you, Harold, manage to put your own spin on this world while still staying true to Cassie's vision? Boom! Oh, that's a good question. Um, raise your hand. Who wrote that? You're hired. That's a good yeah. question. Really? Thank you. Well, it's um, that's actually one of the tougher ones because um, I just really wanted to be true to the characters, and I just wanted to imagine how would it be for a young girl who thinks she's normal to suddenly come home and find out that her, her mommy's gone. And uh, I can imagine, I can somehow imagine, because I lost my mother when I was really young, and I can imagine how that would be. But then when you start throwing supernatural stuff into it, so the reality that you're trying to hold on to is no longer real either. And then you start saying, well, and everything you remember is not your own memories, and your mom is not what you think she is, and the guy you're falling in love with is, you know? <laughs> And I just thought it was really, that's pretty dark in itself. So I just wanted to make sure that it, it played real. And I think that's how we achieved it. One more question for you, Harold. This is from uh, Isabella in LA. Is that you? <laughs> yeah, you're on the spot here. Let's see if your question can stack up to the last one. Is there a particular movie that has inspired your filmmaking? Uh, yes, there's a couple. I was very inspired by The Exorcist. Oh, yeah. Nice! <laughs> You guys have all seen the X's, right? Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have some of you. Some of you are too young. Don't watch that. You're proud of mine. <laughs> I saw that when I was 11. And that's you. I, di I didn't sleep with the light off for about a month. It ruined your life. It ruined your life. It terrified me. You sleep with the lights on after the X's? Yeah. Green oh, yeah, greenhouse. Yeah. Sophie in LA says, Cassie, what is the main message that you hope your readers would that is that you? <laughs> Alright. Okay. okay, Cassie, look at her as I read this question. What is the main message that you hope your readers would get from your stories? I I want people to be able to read the books and take away, you know, the kind of the messages that, that they, you know, read into them. A lot of it has to do with who you are as a reader, but I guess I would say it's all kind of encapsulated in uh, what Jay says to Clary, which is that all the stories are true. It's, uh, it's girl power, right? <laughs> also, girls kick ass, but you knew that. Dana from Forestville says, uh, once again for Cassie, when you were growing up, what were your favorite children and young adult books? What inspired you from a book? Perspective. I mean, when I was growing up, the kind of the classic fantasy books, Lord of the Rings was my favorite. My dad gave me when I was 10. And it always inspired me. And in fact, when I found out that they greenlit this movie, the, I told myself I could buy one thing. And so I went out and I bought first editions of the Lord of the Rings. And, uh, and I so I look at them when I need inspiration. This question is for Kevin. <laughs> uh, Lauren Wood from Huntington Beach. Oh yeah, right there. What's up? Hey, right, Kevin, look at her as I ask you this question. Yeah, Picture her face. Right at her. Kevin, yes. <laughs> are you looking forward to scenes with Magnus in the upcoming movie? Like I said, that right. What if I just said no? That's just, just like, oh. You know, I'm actually fastened to cut all these things. Um, no, of course. I mean, it's it's you know, there's such an integral part of the telling of the story. So yeah, I mean, I think. Well, I'm excited to see the, you know, we start the next film in a month, so, uh, we start this year, yeah. So, uh, we're, I think we're all excited, we've been doing this sort of press thing for a couple months now, so we're excited to get back to work, and all the fans have sort of given us this sort of new energy to go back and make an even better movie the second time around, so, we're excited. Let me ask a question just uh, for everybody. How many how many movies total will there be, and what's the shooting schedule? Are you going to shoot them all at once? Well, hopefully there's six, right? Yeah, hopefully there's six. It's not positive here, you know, but uh, are you trying to lock them all down within the next, say, year or two, or are we going to go for, like, are we doing yeah, the Harry Potter style, or how are we doing this? Well, they're going to be looking this way for a little while. Yeah, <laughs> You're going to be hot for a while, Willie. Really. Really, here's, here's a You'll be hot for a while, Willie. Really. Yeah. 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 Greenhouse! Mackenzie, a question for Kevin. Uh, Kevin, what is your favorite part of your character? Uh, Mackenzie from Riverside, by the way. That's oh, her. hi, Mackenzie from Riverside. Um, my favorite part of the character, he's complicated. Uh, he's a 
you never really know what's going on with him. I think sometimes in these films, they try to create these very one-sided, like, these are the good guys, these are the bad guys. I think Alec's sort of in the middle. I kind of like that about him. I mean, I think his intentions are always good, but... Um, he's a bit. Of, he's a bit of a. He's a bit of a strange character, and I like that. That was sort of what drew me to, to him. So, and I think people, you know, seems like the fans really love him. So uh, I, I felt sort of, um, you know, an obligation to sort of tell this the story of this character, but for him to not always have to be really nice because he's he's kind of mean to Clary for the for the whole first film. He's not a particularly nice guy, which uh, which I liked. He's evil. Crystal from Mintone uh, has a question for Robert. Where are you at, Crystal? Where are you, Where are you Crystal? Where are you? Right there. I think, well, I think you've already answered a portion of this question earlier, but she said, did you read the whole series? You said no. He said you didn't even read the script. <laughs> is Simon your favorite character? I guess, could you have played another one? is. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I, um, absolutely he's my favorite character, you know, especially because I get to spend the most time with him, you know, and, and, and basically coming up with a way of representing him. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I really like, I really like being the guy who, who basically has to have an armor that isn't, you know, leather mail and the weapons. He's the guy at the back who's basically trying to digest this. This big supernatural, dumbfounding world through through you know the guises of humour and, and trying to just trying to digest the whole thing in a very normal way, and uh, it's it's nice it's fun being the normal eyes in a very abnormal world. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, you can choose a lot of comedy from that position. From Mission Viejo, Yasmin. There you are. Right there. What, since two. Come here, give me this bag, give me this bag. Can you pass this bag? It's kind of a heavy bag, look at it. Give me that bag of stuff, I have no idea what the tune is. Robert Yasmin with the bag of stuff there, that she's crying. I love you. Open it up. Oh, Yasmin. Hey, can somebody, it's nice because uh, there's a t-shirt in the bag and she's using it now as a... Uh, hey, can somebody give me a favor? Too. Can somebody give me a favor? Can you get Yasmin and bring her to the stage over here? Let's go right here. Bring Yasmin to the stage. I'm sorry, I can't do this for everyone, but just... Hey, I'm hosting this damn thing. Let's do it. Let's go through Yasmin! Hold on, you guys! Bring me Yasmin! I will not wrap this interview until I talk to you and Rudy this day! Yes, yeah. yeah, this is the channel hunter. <laughs> now don't go to Tiffany's, come to this day. Okay. <laughs> yes, me, can you hold him? Some badass rooms, yes, <laughs> We'll take, we'll take this chair here, here you go. I'm not sitting in this, here you go. Yes, me. Take a load off. Yep. Sorry. Get your butt there, here you go. Yes, me, are you okay? I'm gonna die. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Die. All right, Robert. Yes, means. Well, actually, you know what? As opposed to me asking the question, let's just have you ask the question. I forgot it. <laughs> Did you ever expect to get this much attention from this fandom when taking on the role of Simon? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Did you ever expect to get this much attention in this fandom while taking on the role of Simon? Nice. Good. Good interview <laughs> technique. Yeah, that's good. Good good. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. Okay. <laughs> I, I, absolutely not. I mean, it, it, there's, there's absolutely no way of, of, of knowing, you know, just how, just how kind of feverish the fandom will be. But I think the first, the first time I realised it was when we were in Comic Con. That was the first time I realised just the the, 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 the fanatic, the feverishness of the fans of the, of the this series of books. That's when I got it like, directly because I'm, I'm quite. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm fairly lazy when it comes to the whole social networking, so so you know I'm, I'm quite not present on the Twitters and the Facebooks. 
So uh, Comic Comic Con was very much the first time, but it's like absolutely mind blowing. This is mind blowing. I feel like I feel like we're the Rolling Stones here. Yeah. Yeah. I think so far you've had the longest answer. You've had like the longest answer so far. Toad! Robert, are you not on Twitter? Are you not on Twitter at all? I am now, yeah. I have a, I have a Twitter site, which I, I'm very lax. Lax a days ago in checking it. Yeah. But, uh, do you I don't check it from time to time. Do you see my site? Yeah. Can <laughs> get this guy on Twitter a little more. You, you, you have so many followers in one day. Are you guys all following him? Or do you know his Twitter? Yeah. Follow him? No, no. I appreciate the love, but I, I find it all very baffling. Someday someone will educate me. Jamie! Sure use it. Sorry. Jamie! Jamie. <laughs> question, from, question from Becca in Van Nuys. Hi, Becca. Oh, sorry, I fly just flew into my eye. What's the, what's, what's the start of the question? You all right? You good? Yeah, no, we're good now. We're good. Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear. Happy birthday, man. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Is that the question? That is not the question. The logic well, question it says, was, have you recorded any songs yes. for the movie? Yes. Perhaps, happy birthday. Yes. Right? I, I haven't, I haven't recorded any songs for the movie. Um, you know, would I like to be on the soundtrack for the movie too? Absolutely. You know, it's going down to me though. Uh, there's some songs flowing about at the moment you guys can find on the internet and stuff. So, go out there. And uh, you'd like us to sing happy birthday? Oh, Lord, she's gonna cry. Here we go. Uh, no, all of us are singing. I'm not singing this alone. We'll all sing it together. Maybe we'll do maybe a, you know, no deal. A no dice. <laughs> no dice. <laughs> you ready? We'll all sing. Is this gonna Hey, uh, Jamie, another question. This one from Mel. Mel says, oh, is Mel? I'm at Mel! From his spirit, his spirit, his spirit. His handwriting there, Mel. Right, I love you, Mel. Sir. How does it feel to be cast in one of the uh, three biggest movie series of our generation? Harry Potter, Twilight, Mortal Instruments. How does that feel? It, uh, it feels mental, um, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I wanted to be in the first Twilight, um, and uh, you know that didn't come about. So when I was asked if I wanted to be the second one, and subsequently the last two, I was like, absolutely. Um, and then with Potter, you know, it's an English sort of it's an English institution, I suppose, British institution rather. And um, and so when they they called me up and were like, do you want to play a small part? And I was like. <laughs> Of course, I'll do anything. I'll do anything, you know. I'll jump out a window, and that's actually what I had to do. Uh, but by Christ, was that the best jumping out the window that anybody's ever seen? I'm surprised we didn't get best supporting actor uh, at the Oscars for that. Um, and and now this, you know, uh, uh, for me, you know, it, it, um, I, the fact that somebody wants to pay me money, you know, to dress up in funny clothes and say lines and do what it is that I love is still absolutely dumbfounding. Um, but, uh, you know, very blessed and honoured and grateful. <laughs> Lily! <laughs> this question is from uh, Emmy in uh, Irvine. Emmy, are you here? <laughs> Make eye contact with Lily. Make eye contact. <laughs> Who is it? Everyone's staring at me. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. Okay. Emmy's oh, your sister. Okay. Right there. Oh, I yep. see you. Okay. okay. Oh, in the green, that's you? She's all decked out in her runes. Oh, happy birthday for tomorrow! Sorry we can't sing happy birthday, but... Uh, but happy birthday! Hey, uh, Lily, uh, Emmy says, if you could play a different role in the movie, who would you want to be? P.S. I love you, you're my favorite. Awesome actress, she says. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, actually, um, I'd love to play Magnus. <laughs> yeah, not just because Kevin Zegers. Um, <laughs> no, I was... Magnus because um, he's, he has awesome makeup, he throws the coolest parties, yet at the same time 
He's wise beyond his years. He's like hundreds and hundreds of years old. And he's really good to have around in times of crisis. So he's good to throw the party and good at the end of the night when you need help going home. Greenhouse! Greenhouse, exactly. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Where's Jane? Uh, Jane from Forestville. Where's Jane at? She left. Right there. Is that you, Jane? <laughs> Jane has a question for you, Lily. She says, when you were in high school, what were your favorite fiction books for recreational reading? Ooh, um... Not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fake one! I know that! She, she just asked me what books meant. <laughs> She's like, books? What is, what's that? Um, Read it. Read it. Strangely enough, Harry Potter. <laughs> I wanted to be Hermione so bad. <laughs> But it's okay because now I'm Clary. She does a great impression of Hermione, actually. No, it's not. You no, know it's good. It is good. It is good. Yeah, no, Harry Potter all the way. I think I read the last three books in like two weeks. My mom will attest I didn't leave the house. I was obsessed. But I'm more obsessed with mortal instruments. So. We could have been killed. We could have been killed Or worse, expelled. Or worse, expelled. <laughs> Priorities straight, Harry. <laughs> hey. As we wrap this up, uh, really, final thoughts on the movie. What should the fans know? Any any final notes, or should I just end this and say Greenhouse? Oh, you can say Greenhouse all day long. No, um, honestly, I think I speak for all of us up here when we say that we're so incredibly proud of the movie that we created. Um, we wanted to honor and, of course, pay complete tribute to Cassie's writing. We've got the comedy in there. There's obviously the romance, there's drama, but there is such amazing action. Like, for the guys out there, if you think this is just a chick flick, you're so wrong. Because the action in this movie is amazing. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think we're just, we're so honored to be here and meet you guys face to face. And I really hope you enjoy the movie. Go opening weekend five times. <laughs> But honestly, I, I love you all. We all love you. And love you, you're the reason that these books are what they are and that we get to be up here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Once again, director, Lily, author, Cassie, of course, the actors, Kevin, Robert, Jamie, and Lily, your cast of Victoria Instruments, City of Cards. I know a lot of you guys are going to meet the cast, so whatever they told you to do, do that. And what? What? Oh, Yasmin! Oh, yeah, Yasmin? Yes, what do you mean do? You forgot to give her a shout out. Give her a shout -out. Okay, all right. And my girl, Yasmin! Oh! Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. Big brother, gotta do it. Hey, big, I, I don't want big brother. Big brother. So, yeah. Yasmin, congrats. Was it all you uh, hoped it would be up on stage with the actors and the director of the <laughs> You said that would happen. Wow. Good I mean, you. you can dream about things. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to put you on blast in front of everybody, but uh, you're a real fan. Just as a lot of you guys are, all of you guys Is that are. really a question? No, it's not a question. <laughs> but maybe Greenhouse. I think we all are. Greenhouse. He asked me, why don't you jump off stage over here? We can get you back to your big brother so he doesn't beat me up. <laughs> What's your name over there? Ace. Ace, good to meet you, man. Cool name, man. And we're going to have to turn around, look this way, and Ace take a big uh, shot of you guys. Yeah.